How do the hoops do? Not great. So we've got a problem here. Uh, the hoops that I've got, they've got nine gauge wire. In a picture that you saw previously, you saw that uh, the snow uh, tends to bend the wire down and stuff. And I've seen people use uh, twine or wire along the length of it uh, to try and strengthen it. And I'm going to give that a try today and we're going to see if that helps. Um, we're supposed to get a big snow tonight, so I'll be able to let you know if it actually works or if or if it doesn't. These guys are a couple dowel rods that I've got some rope on that uh, I use usually to uh, just make straight rows during the growing season. But I figured maybe I could use it for this. So we'll see how that goes. First thing to do is to straighten up those hoops that have been bent over by the snow. Then I take one of the dowel rods, poke it in the ground, and wrap the rope around each of the hoops. Pretty quick work, especially if you've wrapped up the rope around the dowel rod. But I'll tell you, actually, this is a sped up video. I don't work quite this fast in real life. After I wrapping it around the last hoop, I stick the opposite dowel rod into the ground. Then put my row cover back over the hoops. All right, we're gonna see if this thing can stand the snow. I'm gonna dump some snow in here. How do the hoops do? Not great, not great. All right, I think that was a fail. We, uh, you can see here, this hoop is doing okay. This wire hoop has bent down considerably. Again, this is really wet, heavy, heavy snow. We would never have this much snow. But even if we did, I don't think it would be a terribly big deal because we can just come out and bend the wire back and the hoops are gonna do their job. I One problem though, as I'm looking at this, I can see right here the, uh, the rope has moved along and left a small thing, a small uh, segment here. It seems like it's been able to shift easily. So maybe I need to uh, tie them off with knots, um, pull out my scout skills, and uh, do some knots in this thing. In fact, I'm going to try that right now. I'm going to see if that makes a difference if I tie knots in the rope as I go, and then we'll do the dump test again. I'm going to pull this out, and we're going to go back. Now I'm just going to do this section. So. So instead of just wrapping around, I'm going to pull that tight and then I'm going to wrap around. Let me get that out of the way. I'm going to wrap around and I'm going to go through this loop here and just make a little half knot. I'll slow it down here so you can see the half knot. So now it's a little half hitch, just like that. That's a little harder to get tight, but then once it's tight, I think that's going to hold on. It takes considerably longer to tie these knots, but I think it's uh, probably worth the effort and uh, makes the structure strong enough that in the long run you're going to save time by tying these knots. You won't have to go out and uh, bend your hoops back after the snow knocks them over. Right, here we go. Whoa, what a difference. It, uh, it isn't perfect, but remember this is really heavy. And if I, if I shake the snow off a little bit, they, they do a lot better. So I would say tie the knots and you're probably gonna be in good shape and it will make a difference. So my recommendation, do the rope. If you don't like rope, use wire rope or something that uh, if you're worried about the sun uh, damaging the rope, tie the knots and your hoops are gonna hold up a lot better. Mm -hmm.